Ciao everybody. Uh, this is the video how to make your water with alum and how to prime your paper for the the session number two, three and four of our class. Okay, what you will need will be, of course you will need the alum. You will need again our tablespoon. It has to be washed, clean tablespoon. A bowl. Uh, our quart jar and your paper and um, hot water you can use again your purified water or just normal water from the tub I already warm up my water is boiling was boiling my hello uh, so what you will do is you will scoop a tablespoon of alum okay it has to be not so full okay a little bit less full uh, for the carrageenan we do a level tablespoon in this case it's a little bit less okay than full okay and I put it in my jar okay then I remove this because it's a monster okay and then I pour my water in the jar. Hot water, okay? Mm. Add the ring here. And then I stir well. So alum is kind of like a water, has to be dissolved well, you need to dissolve well. We use a jar because then you can store it for uh, future use. Okay. Now you have your paper, you put something under it you want to protect your countertop. I can even do this on my beautiful countertop but okay I put some paper then you can pour maybe half of the container on a bowl not even half like just a little bit like this and you have your stack of paper one on top of each other and then you dip your sponge you squeeze a little bit not too much and then you wet your paper. And I forget to mention that you have to prepare a landing space for your paper. Okay, you can have your uh, cloth line or you can use some of these um, dry racks, uh, $10 at IKEA, um, or you'll be creative, okay? So when you have sponge your paper, this, the paper doesn't have to be uh, damp, too much water, just to be wet and be sure that you cover all the surface. And then you put it a little bit to dry, it could be even like this, so it's drying flat. Or if you want to do more, you can put sitting like this and and then you can wait one hour, half an hour, depending how is the temperature in your house. And then when it's done, uh, you can and you can put like this. You can stack like five or six when they are dry, and you can leave them overnight. And then the next day, you put the uh, uh, light. 10 sheets or five sheets stuck together and you put them under weight. It could be a book and uh, they need to be flat. If you leave them for three or four days under even Atlas or Encyclopedia, uh, they could be uh, flat enough. Then when you're done, you can squeeze your sponge and then you can put that back your alum solution 
and you with a lid you close it and you can store it for uh, I don't know one week two weeks and then when we are going to use it again uh, the salt will be a little bit on the bottom so when you use it again you have to stir again and repeat the process and of alum in the water and so that that's it okay good luck ciao